angel doing what she's got to do. The sister sings. Like a stone bird, he said, intending to praise her, but no bird has such a choice. They speak, too, or whatever twittering means. But does that explain human song? Maybe this more than natural impulse surprised even the creator, who let the possibility slip his mind, not unintended, just not thought of. Suppose there was a creature, not yet human, who cocked his head, dimly quizzical at bird song, and did something, roared, screeched, howled, something purely joyous in imitation, and those birds filled the prehistoric air in flight from obscenity. to tell him he wasn't created for that. Or suppose Eve giving a name to something dull Adam didn't know about. And she, holding the doomed child, stopped and looked at him as if listening and smiled and said, Not like birds who are doomed to sing, her doom and ours is her silence. The sisters sing, doing what they've got to do, black angels. Droning a drowsy syncopated tune, rocking back and forth to a mellow croon. I heard a Negro play down on Lenox Avenue the other night. 
by the pale dark color of an old gaslight. He did a lazy sway. He did a lazy sway to the tune, oh, those weary blues. With his ebony hands on each ivory key, he made that poor piano moan with melody, oh, blues. to and fro on his rickety stool he played that sad raggy tune like a musical fool sweet blues coming from a black man's soul oh blues In a deep song voice with a melancholy tone, I heard that Negro sing that old piano moan. Ain't got nobody in all this world. Ain't got nobody but myself. I's going to quit my frowning and put my troubles on the shelf. Thump, 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 when his foot on the floor. He played a few chords, then he sang some more. I got the weary blues and I can't be satisfied. Got the weary blues and can't be satisfied. I ain't happy no more and I wish that I had died. And far into the night he crooned that tune. The stars went out and so did the moon. The singer stopped playing and went to bed while the weary blues echoed through his head. He slept like a rock or a man that's dead. Start with a simple room, a dullish color, and draw the one shade down. Hot plate, bed, little phonograph in a corner, put in a single figure, medium weight and height, but oversized as a child's might. The features must be Japanese. Then stack a black pompadour on and let the eyes slide behind a night of glass. The figure is in disguise. Slim green suit for posturing on a bandstand. The turned up shoes of Harlem. Then start the music playing, thick jazz, strong jazz, and notice that the figure comes to life. Sweating, growling, over an imaginary bass, plucking out a rhythm as the music rises and the room is full, exuding with that rhythm. Then have the shade flap up, and daylight catch him frozen in that pose as it starts to snow. Thick snow, strong snow, blowing in the window while the music quiets, the room is slowly covered, and the figure is completely out of sight. Under bright city lights, I swing on rusty water pipes, 
like a wolf running wackety across high circus wires. Our frequent basement parlors where jazz freaks are blonde, drunk on black jasmine blowing Sartonian melodies. In air-cooled, clean apartments where dim darkness is defined powerless by a parted sun, patently and certainly going berserk, baby, in this first singular person, I swing through the city full of blues. 